with rock being delivered, placed in between the walls and then compacted into place. As you can see the services have already been inserted, so drainage, water, gas if necessary, all those lines are already in place prior to the subfloor being laid. Here's the concrete being poured again, we can see it being lifted into place with the bucket of a digger of some kind. Poured into position, you'd think that it would sort of self-level as it's fairly liquid, but actually concrete takes a lot of shifting around and that's what we see in this next picture here. This guy's doing it manually with the rake, which is incredibly hard work to actually shift several tons of concrete about the place with the rake to make sure that it's evenly spread out within the foundations. Finally, the concrete's leveled, and this board also tends to press any large stone, any fill within the concrete down away from the surface so you can achieve a smooth surface, which is what we can see in this last picture here, a lovely smooth surface, and that is the subfloor then actually completed. Services are in place and it's brought up to the level of the surrounding foundations.